Welcome to my car and train channel. Today I want to share with you one of my famous buyer's guide test drive. I've had this Honda CRV for three years now. It's a 2020 model year and I am at the end of the lease so I am returning it. Just as a side note, in 2023 when you return a lease car, you can get a payment above the lease, like a return uh, bonus, because a trade-in bonus, because uh, used cars are very rare, and the dealership, they offer you that uh, bonus. So something to keep in mind, and there is a link to an associated video which is explaining that. So, when I bought it in 2020, there were four models, the LX, the EX, the EXL, and the Touring. They all have the same engine, it's just that uh, the trim level uh, is increasing as you go from the left to the right. This one is an EXL, I felt that it was a good level but not uh, over the top. Uh, as you can see that each time the price is increasing about uh, $2,500 from one model to another. And you will see that I have added a couple of options that I will mention. Let's walk outside. So the biggest feature of this car is a CVT transmission, which means that uh, th there is no gears inside the automatic transmission. It's a pulley system. Nowadays, it seems that they are fairly reliable. So that's the reason why I chose this car. Uh, in former times, they were not that reliable, uh, but I think that Honda has a lot of experience with it. Nice shape, modern. Uh, one of the features is that uh, it comes with all the safety, like the radar, the, the side moving uh, safety. Also in the mirror, if there is a car overtaking it, overtaking you. Let's go see inside. Very uh, roomy car. And I'm going to show you something which is very likely the main reason for my purchase is that when you fold the seat and let me clear the bags and everything when you fold the seats, it's a perfectly flat from left to right, I folded only uh, the, the two-third uh, driver portion, but it's completely flat. So if you have big cargo uh, items to put in your car, I sincerely recommend it. Uh, once in a while I need to put uh, my steam locomotive, which is uh, big and heavy, and this is the perfect car. Most of the other cars on the market, they have a step, or they have complex moving seats, and you cannot put big cargo. There is a link which is explaining and showing that uh, on the top right corner of this video. Now, let's sit inside. Leather seats, that's part of the trim level. Let me take uh, the description just in case I need it. So, very likely, 
One of the, the big advantage of this car compared to other ones is because it's a small engine with a turbo, you can see here is the advantage. 30 miles per gallon. And this is city and me having a little bit of a left foot on the gas pedal. The tank is very small and I can tell you I already feel so I am driving about seven or eight thousand miles per year and I already feel less than twice a month. So from a, a spending a gas mileage this is definitely a winner. Otherwise a lot of uh, conventional things, your, your complex uh, steering wheel with all the functions. There is the drive assist here. I barely use it with the cruise control. And here on the left side you have both the phone and the different functions. So, you know, actually, let me close the doors because I have the feeling that I, if I don't close the door, it's going to give me hard time to show you the dashboard cluster. Here I have the automatic, you may hear it, the lift gate, which is closing automatically. Very conventional cluster here. The fuel tank access that you use very rarely, as mentioned. The main dashboard. Okay, so here I need to speak about something. If there is one function where I had headaches on this car, that's the smartphone connection. It has been on and off, and I had the maintenance plan with the car. And the, the dealer, they were blaming Apple back and forth. At the end, it was random. I would say that it was working only 60% of the time, two-thirds at the most. So that has been perhaps the, the only frustration that I've had with this car. The climate. Very simple, so direct access from here, this is very handy. On that trim level, I have the heated seats and I have independent temperature for the driver and the passenger. Radio, I am not really a radio guy, so did not use it a lot, I would say almost never actually. The phone, I need to bring back the phone here so that I can show you better. I have always this joke, the glove box, very small, the user manual, very, very rarely have I used it. I'm sure that three years into the ownership of the car or the leasing, there are some details that I still don't know, but at the end it's fairly uh, intuitive how to maneuver and program the different functions. This one has a sunroof. It's a very roomy car. Uh, between the one third, two third folding, the fact that uh, the cargo area is completely flat when you fold the seats, as mentioned earlier, that gives you a fairly versatile use of the car. View from the rear seat. Here is the engine bay. Being a new car, I've never been inside. Oh, actually, let me reward. A few times we have been waiting with my wife on a parking lot with heated seat in winter, and actually we discharged completely the battery. So, I strongly recommend that uh, you are careful in case uh, the engine is not running and you are on a parking lot.
This version is uh, all-wheel drive. So uh, the Honda CRV was my husband's car. I would occasionally drive it, and most of the time I was a passenger. Um, this car was okay, I would say, uh, functional, would take you to point A to B without any issues. But when we were in the parking lot, it was very difficult to find your own car because there are so many of the same type and model. Even the color is very uh, common. So nothing unique in this car. There was one thing that was concerning me. <clears throat> was the rolling forward or backward, um, meaning there was too much play in the park position of the transmission. So basically, I was afraid that a tire would roll over my foot each time I would be you know, out of the car and looking for something inside the car, let's say, for example, on the back seat. So that play, I really didn't like because I was really afraid of the car, you know, potentially rolling over my foot. So that's what I wanted to tell you about this car. So with the CVT, the advantage is that there is no shifting. It's continuously variable transmission. And that leads to a very smooth drive. The car has a very good kick. Continue straight. When the car play is working, this is very convenient. Keep right. You have it directly from your smartphone, displaying in the middle of the dash. Here I am with the board where the steering is steering alone. You need to keep your hands, of course, on the steering wheel. For those who like this feature, it's very good. Myself, I have rarely used it. Here is a left curve and you can see that the car is steering going towards the left side and at the end the steering wheel is going to reset itself right in the middle you need always to keep at least one hand on the steering wheel This is the period 2020 catalog of accessories. Interestingly, the car you could not get anymore a paper catalog, but for the accessories, I think perhaps it's when you go to the dealership, they still think that it's a good idea to uh, promote. It's classified into different uh, families, accessory package, style, convenience, protection and utilities. Myself, you know, I chose many accessories in the utility side, like the roof bar and the cargo, yeah, the cargo net and also the trailer hitch because I needed that. Let's go back to the catalog itself, the style, convenience and utility. You can see what's there. The protection, 
uh, which are all the additional side protection. And then I go back here and I pause a little bit so that you have some time to read the details. Here is the merchandise and there might be a link in the description uh, towards an affiliate website if you want to order some of the Honda merchandise. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please ask them through the comment section. I will be happy to answer with all the experience that I have accumulated.